What's going on guys, my name is Versatile, welcome back to another video, and today I want to teach you guys how to mod Cyberpunk 2077. Now modding Cyberpunk is actually fairly easy, and um, I pretty much want to uh, make a tutorial for any of you guys who are new to modding Cyberpunk 2077. If you guys do enjoy this video, don't like, comment, and subscribe. This is a pretty simple tutorial, so take what you learned from this and run with it. Um, and without further ado, let's get started. The first thing you're gonna need in order to mod Cyberpunk 2077 is Cyberpunk 2077 Red Mod. So Red Mod allows you to mod your game um, and it is pretty much required in order for you to um, play the game that's modded. And it's also helpful for mod creators as well. However, we're not getting that deep into that side. However, um, Red Mod absolutely works. Uh, it needs, uh, you need this in order to mod your game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are now on Nexus Mods. So Nexus Mods is a modding site, one of the most popular. And um, before we get into this Cyberpunk 2077 tab, uh, we will need to install some stuff first. So one thing I highly recommend um, using is a mod manager. So there's two you can choose from. And right here, I'm using Vortex um, for Cyberpunk 2077. Now this is highly recommended um, because mod managers make the modding process easier and if you're new to modding you will likely get overwhelmed and confused so if you're very new to modding i highly recommend you install a mod manager in order to uh make the process a little bit easier however uh there is another mod manager uh that's available but right now um vortex i find it better however there is another option and it's called mod organizer 2 so mod organizer 2 is a mod manager It's mainly used for Skyrim however you can use this for other games so. all right guys so once you install vortex um, you will need to go to games here and they need to search for search for cyberpunk now these are in alphabetical order it looks like so if you feel like scrolling down you can however you can just type in the game name once you type in cy it should uh pop up but um if you still can't find it you're gonna have to search for it manually so you can manually set location and such um but if you do find it you're gonna want to click on manage so um although i don't have this game if i click on manage it's gonna say something like this if it's not automatically been discovered you have to set the game folder you likely won't need to do that uh, for Cyberpunk unless uh, Vortex cannot find the game. But once you do find the game, um, you're going to need to install Cyberpunk 2077 Vortex support. Um, it's going to download automatically uh, once you click on manage and that you need to support. It's going to just uh, download automatically. But yeah, this is basically Cyberpunk 2077 support um, for Vortex. <clears throat> if you can't find the file so once you do that you'll be greeted with the mods page now this is where you will uh, pretty much uh, install all your mods this is basically your mod list once you install them um, through vortex now like I said uh, once you manage the game vortex will manage your mod folder so Unless you install mods manually, which we will get to later on in the video about automatic and manual installation, um, your mods will show up here. Now that you have Vortex set up, now you can click on the Cyberpunk 2077 tab and through Nexus Mods. And everything here um, is pretty much everything that has been created for Cyberpunk 2077 that has been uploaded to this site. Now, um, before we get started with actually installing mods manually and automatically, there is something I do got I got I do want to show you. So um, go to Unique Downloads, and these are called Framework Mods. So things like Cyber Engine Tweaks, Red Script, Red for EXT, Archive and Tweak XL, Codeware, um, Equipment EX, Virtual Atelier, Atelier doesn't matter, um, Browser Extension, Virtual Car Dealer. So most of these are framework mods for other mods. So um, brief description, virtual car dealer is for um, 
car mods are pretty much custom vehicles browser extension is for people at their custom websites um, which virtual atelier depends on um, equipment EX allows you it's pretty much like a equipment mod and it sorts out the menu um, but most of this stuff are like real real um, framework mods so you're gonna need these five manually mainly archive Excel tweak Excel red for ext red script cyber engine tweaks and codeware as well as equipment EX um, and let's see doesn't look like that's all oh yeah framework you will need framework if you want like a custom rig or a custom body for your character so um, that's pretty much the main stuff you need so now we're gonna go through the automatic installation of mods and manual installation we're gonna click on cyber engine tweaks and basically I said this was a framework mod and you can click either mod manager or manual so um, I'm gonna say right now especially with stuff like framework mods if you have uh, if it says mod manager download then download with the mod manager it just makes things a lot easier um, however there are some mods that will only let you do a manual download so I'm gonna show you guys what an automatic download is um, how to install and remove from vortex and I'm also gonna show a manual download so install cyber engine tweaks here vortex will automatically pop up I already have a duplicate so I'm gonna delete the other one but what you will need to do is click continue if you already have a mod downloaded and you want to download it again um, I don't know why but for the sake of this video um, we're gonna go ahead and install cyber engine tweaks again and since there are two mods it's gonna say unresolved file conflicts then it's gonna say some mods are redundant um, now unless you know what you're doing or unless you know a specific mod won't work without the other then um, ignore that redundant message so what we're gonna do I'm going to go ahead and delete this so I'm gonna go ahead and delete the duplicate this is how you delete mods so you can just remove the mod or you can remove all the archive so deleting the archive will completely wipe away the mod um, so as you see it's gonna disappear it's not gonna be through the mod manager it's officially gone so that's how you do an automatic installation now we're gonna move on to a manual installation so here's how you manually install a mod in cyberpunk 2077 now there is a manual installation through vortex which you will get through in a minute and there's also a the usual manual method where you need to pretty much extract the files into your game directory so um we're using the bmw ma competition coupe as an example um this mod was made by corn milf apparently so we have this over here you download your file so there are two ways you can do this so you can click on vortex and then you can install from file and that can work so if we do this it's going to install the mod extract installing so sometimes you will have this you reach the fallback installer i wasn't able to figure out what kind of mod this is so you reach the fallback installer if you want to proceed then i'll install everything into the mod staging folder all of this um install the staging anyway i'm resolve file conflicts so with this mod creator specifically there's one file in here that has a mod conflict so either can click before after or never together with so personally since i installed this one before um i'll just click on after and that's how you solve my conflicts as well so that is one way the other way i'm going to show you is how to it's pretty much the extraction way so i'm going to go find another mod of this person um let's see what's the car that i want i'd say the svt cobra so there we go now manual download And then you will need to go to File Explorer, Downloads. So this is how you extract your game directory. Directory, you pretty much click on Extract All, 
and then you go to browse and then this is your game directory so since i have this on the external drive i have a custom folder but if you have this installed on your windows drive or any main drive it's gonna have steam files uh it's gonna have program files x86 and then steam um then it's gonna have steam apps common etc so um we're gonna select this folder since it is my game directory and then we're gonna extract so basically this is the one file that's starting the file conflict but you can just replace the file or skip it so what we're gonna do now is replace the file and everything should go sort itself out so basically we're gonna look in this folder archive r6 archive pc and mod this is how most of your folders are structured mod wise and these can be found in your cyberpunk 2777 directory as well so <clears throat> that's pretty much how you install mods manually it'll just sort itself out however you're gonna have to go back and remove removing them is pretty much harder than installing them well at least it's not harder but it's more time consuming so that's why i say install and remove through the mod manager and that's how you install mods manually and automatically moving away from nexus mods for a little bit we're going to install reshade so reshade uh it helps improve your game visually um and i find it a pretty useful tool especially if you want to make your game look a little bit different so um reshade um is advanced post processing um as of october 30th 2024 this hasn't been upload updated in a few months so um they didn't find a reason to update it yet so we are on version 6.3.3 um just pretty much download reshade and i'm gonna show you guys how to go ahead and install it so once you have reshade downloaded i already downloaded the file so i'm gonna go ahead and move to it so go to downloads reshade setup and then you have to just find your game or application so cyberpunk 2077 so uh, i think it uses directx 10 or 11 but it doesn't use 9 or any of these other ones so click on microsoft directx 10 11 12. so um what we have here you can uninstall reshade and install reshade so basically select the operation to perform you can update reshade only update reshade and effects or you can uninstall reshade and effects so you can just update reshade only or install reshade so uh if you don't have it installed um previously it'll have install reshade however if you click on that you just go ahead it's gonna go ahead and just update it however if you click on update reshade and effects or install reshade and effects it's gonna give you a list here so basically what this does um Pretty much all of the other spicy stuff. Now, if you want to install you, all of these, you can. However, it's not required. This is just up to you. So uh, after that, um, it'll just run a little loading screen. It's going to say successfully install reshade. Click the finish button to exit the setup tool. So uh, I do recommend downloading this if you want to improve your game a little bit visually. So um, it's just filters. It's pretty much like applying a filter, and, but it doesn't mess with your performance too much. Alright guys, so now we're back on Nexus Mods. And basically, I wanted to show you guys some reshade presets and how to install those. So, um, reshade presets work off of um, INI files. So we're going to we're gonna go ahead and use this one. So, preview file contents. So, like I said, these work off ini files so mango download um some of these folders for different people are constructed uh differently but this is pretty much uh the typical folder structure that you will need so we go ahead and we go to downloads and as you see right here you can just go ahead click on this folder you can extract it go ahead and install it here to your cyberpunk 2077 directory we click extract here and then bin f64 and i believe it was called photorealistic reshade so it was called razors pr reshade so um that's how you install some of these 
However, uh, if it comes in a file like uh, RAR, you will just need to go ahead and extract the files, extract here. So, there we go right here. And then you need to drag the file to your uh, directory. So, three, and then you click on bin and then x64. And then you'd want to drag the file. You can either copy or move it. So yeah, that's pretty much how to install reshade uh, INI files. All right, so once you finish installing all of your mods, uh, depending on how crazy you went, you may have just installed the framework or you pretty much just went ahead and installed a bunch of mods. Um, we're gonna go ahead and start the game now. So you can install it through your shortcut or you can install it through, uh, I mean, you can start it through your shortcut um, or you can start it through Vortex. So if you click on this play button, it'll start the game. However, I am going to click on the shortcut I have for Steam. Um, make sure whenever this little gear button pops up, click on enable mods. Um, if you have, if you don't have mods installed before this, or if you've just been playing vanilla, you'd usually have this disabled by default, but you can enable mods now. Uh, well, not now, but you've been able to. But go ahead and enable mods, and then you can click play. Well, there we go. Reshade is now installed successfully. Press home to start the tutorial. So this is what it does when you first install Reshade. Now you can pretty much uh, go through the tutorial here. Uh, click continue that's pretty much what you have and then you click finish so in order to change presets you need to go ahead and pretty much put these so you see uh, the preset uh, reshades are now here so I installed the no filter and the razors PR um, however this is what I've been using before which is Haru's custom reshade So, um, Cyber Engine Tweaks, if that pops up, you're going to need to bind your keys. So, I have mine at O, um, but you can use it for whatever you want. I just don't find uh, O to impact my game too much, especially if I'm playing mouse and keyboard. But I'm only playing this game uh, in controller, so it's not going to uh, bother too much. But yeah, all you have to do is just load in your save. All right, now that you're in the game, you can pretty much uh, check out your mods. Now, uh, you can go to your computer here. Uh, if you install a browser extension and such, and then you can uh, see what that looks like. But other than that, this is pretty much how you install mods. If you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to comment and subscribe. I will do one more in depth if you guys want that. But this is kind of basic to um, it's kind of basic to get you started. Pretty much take this and run with it. But um, other than that, if you guys did enjoy it, don't forget to comment and subscribe. Um, make sure that mods, make sure you install the prerequisites uh, for mods. But that's all I have for you, and I will see you in the next one.